<clears throat> Let's talk about writing a module. So a module is just a program that allows you to pass variables to your objects. So the problem with the module is you gotta name it first, okay? If you just write module, it doesn't really carry over to what you're trying to do. So we're gonna call this a linkage. And we're going to take a couple of objects and figure out how to merge them. So we're going to start passing variables into our module. Um, and I'm actually going to declare a variable called height. And um, we're going to declare a variable called uh, width. And because it's radius, we're going to make that over 2. And then we'll have a resolution. Right? Resolution. And make sure everything's spelled correctly. This is a chronic condition as you're writing programs or designing files through this interface. So what we've done is basically make a singular cylinder that has these three variables passed for its dimensions. Okay. And so right now, if I were to type linkage and then call that as a command, it's going to make this itty bitty dot and it doesn't even know what the resolution is so it's just decided that it is five sided so it's not a square it's a pentagon right but as we start to pass information to the program we declare our variable height and width and resolution okay and then in here We'll notice as we compile, nothing happens, right? So it knows that these variables exist and height will be passed here, but um, there's still no value being passed through the command. So as we declare height, that is the first number, we're going to say the height of our linkage is 3, which is about an eighth of an inch, and the width will be 8, which is about 5 sixteenths of an inch, and the resolution will be uh, 64 so it should look like a cylinder now there we go so now the interesting part is once you start to make these modules you can end up building all sorts of cool things into the code so we're gonna take that same command and that same information and just label it so this will be um, link to and this one will be Link one. Now what we can do is decide how we're going to move these pieces around. So translate, always make sure you type it correctly. Zero, zero. Right. So this is going to allow us to move our components. There's this auto formatting thing that it does that I'm not a fan of, but uh, that's okay. So now we can translate it in directions. And so what I'm going to do is determine the length of the linkage, right? Which means we're going to need a new variable. Length. And then we're going to need to move negative length over 2 and positive length over 2. And that's going to allow me to move all of these cylinders in different directions, both of them, I should say. But before that happens, the first variable we pass is height, which is 3, and then width, which is 8, and length, which does not exist, but we know we don't want to be 64. So let's try something a little more reasonable, like 30. And now we have two cylinders that should be based on the dimensions. The center distance is 15 here, and center distance is 15 here. So from center to center, they are 30 millimeters apart. Okay. So now what we can do is call a cube. And then have its dimensions be passed as 
we want its thickness to be height. This is where we have to do some mental gymnastics, right? So we can pass the length, and then we can pass the width. But then what we're using for height is actually the thickness, right? And that would be in our z-axis. All right, so here's the interesting paradox is as you do that, we have the height correct and in the right location, but our cube is in some different orientation than the absolute coordinate system that we have. So what we want to do is center it, but then we have to ask ourselves, do we want this to be center equals true? And then do we want our cylinders to behave on that same coordinate system, in which case each one would need a center equals true included. So now we have a nice bar, little popsicle stick, slot, nothing fancy. But the nice part about this design is now, the way we've modeled everything, we should just be able to change dimensions for that object. So it is a simple module, and it's designed parametrically so that if we decide to change the thickness, we don't have to go back and write anything special to the code. Okay, so we're going to save this as parametric. module. 